honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think these are very basic. It, hopefully, if you guys remember from your pre-calculus class, you guys can understand that this is a continuous function. This is that V-shaped graph. So since you know it's continuous, all you need to do is plug in 2 into this function. Okay. However, since it's at the beginning, I just want to make sure I review the transformations and so forth for you, because this is going to come up in this chapter. So this is just a great opportunity for me to review graphing. Because yes, you could all plug them into your calculator. Um, but the main important thing, when you guys are graphing, let's just call this f of x. If you're graphing 2 minus x, and this shows up in the review packet that's being passed around, make sure you guys put this into the x minus h, and make sure you guys put this into that x minus h format. So what I would do is I would rewrite this as negative x plus 2. And then we have to make sure that if we're going to transform this correctly, we've got to factor out this negative. The negative needs to be actually factored out. So therefore, it's going to look like this. Okay. Now what this tells us is if you're a review on transformations in you know, pre-calculus in Algebra 2, this is a reflection about the y-axis. And this is a horizontal shift two units to the right. Okay, So if here's your parent graph, does reflecting about the y-axis change the graph? No. But the graph is being shifted over two units to your right. Now you guys can see again, we're just evaluating the limit. And what the main important thing I want, to, I want to verify with you guys is you guys can see how that, why that works. Because if I'm just going to if we're evaluating the limit, is it continuous at 2? Is this graph continuous at 2? Yeah, so we just need to figure out what that value is, which you guys know is 0. So if we're going to evaluate this limit, all we simply need to do, the limit as x approaches 2, we just need to plug in 2. I'm sorry, yeah, plug in 2 into the equation. So the absolute value of 2 minus 2 is, the, is equal to the absolute value of 0, which is just equal to 0. Okay. But I wanted you guys to see the graph, just so you guys, you guys need to visualize that, because absolute value comes up quite a bit. So we need to make sure we can visualize that. 